A former Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee was alive today and had interacted with the incumbent Prime Minister Narendra Modi, what would their conversation look like? We posed this question to Chat GPT and its response is both interesting and noteworthy. Here is the excerpt of the interesting conversation that Chat GPT yielded. Our query, can you write a hypothetical conversation between Narendra Modi and Atal Bihari Vajpayee? Chat GPT's response, sure, here is a hypothetical conversation between the two Indian leaders. Hi and welcome to TFI Post, I am your host Surabhi. If you are watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. If you are watching us on Facebook, do like, share and follow the page. Let's begin with the video report. Namaste Atal ji, it's great to see you. Namaste Narendra, it's always a pleasure to meet you. Atal ji, what do you think about the revocation of Article 317 in Jammu and Kashmir? Well, Narendra, it was a bold move. The special status given to Jammu and Kashmir under Article 370 had become a roadblock to the development and integration of the region with the rest of India. Yes, I couldn't agree more. Atalji, I have always been inspired by your leadership and governance style. Your emphasis on transparency and good governance set a high standard for the rest of us. Thank you, Narendra. But I must say, your efforts in transforming India through technology and digital innovation have been nothing short of remarkable. Your initiatives such as Jandhan Yojana and Digital India have helped bring the benefits of governance to the masses and have made a tangible difference in the lives of many. Atalji, I am proud to say that I have fulfilled your vision of Kamal Khilega. Narendra, I must commend your efforts in fulfilling many of our party's major poll promises. Your determination to abrogate Article 370 and build the Ram Mandir have shown your unwavering commitment to the principles of our party. Thank you, Atalji. It was a long-standing demand of the people. And I am proud to have delivered on our promise. Indeed, Narendra, and your efforts in boosting the economy, implementing the good and services tax and launching welfare schemes such as Ayushman Bharat have also made a positive impact in lives of millions of citizens. I'm glad that our policies are making a difference, Atalji. Our focus on economic development and social welfare is a testament to our commitment to the well-being of the people. Your leadership and dedication are an inspiration, Narendra. May you continue to lead our nation on the path of progress and prosperity. I am grateful for your support and guidance, Atalji. I have always strived to uphold the principles and values that our party stands for and work towards a better future for all citizens. This was the excerpt yielded by Chad GPT and from here on we have envisioned the rest on how the conversation would have continued. Atalji, have you seen how the media in cahoots with the anti-India brigade Spun your comments on Raj Dharm? <laughs> Narendra, there is nobody who can better comprehend the hidden agendas of the media and anti-India lobby better than you. Both you and I know that all of them aired partial truths and hid my comment where I had complimented you for following Raj Dharm. But who will invest the time to explain to these agenda-driven media agencies what the true essence of your comment was? There is no need for that. You can wake an asleep person, but not one whose soul has died. And they pretend to be asleep just to advance their political and even anti-India agenda. Both you and I know that after the Raj Dharam comment, I categorically said that the chief minister is doing the same. Indeed, Atalji, I was right beside you. Narendra, continue leading the country forward in this manner. Your leadership will be remembered by our nation. Atalji, keep guiding us and grant your blessings. Jai Hind. Jai Hind.